Library. I'm right here by the River Thames and it is jumping here today. So join with me down the rabbit hole and we'll see what we get up to at a wonderful new afternoon tea. I have afternoon tea booked at 2.30 for Hitchin, please. Hello and welcome back to Wonderland. So today we are at the County Hall and we're at the library restaurant for afternoon tea. And it's going to be an hour and a half of bottomless uh, sparkling wine. And here I am with my first glass, so I better start my timer. I'm going to start my timer now. Here we go. So let's see how we do. When you sit down at the library at County Hall, you get a selection of teas. And they all come in a little jar like this and what you're supposed to do is smell them and see which one you like the best. So yes, yeah, so it's like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve different kinds. I'll have to see what I like and then I can order my tea. So here's one of the little jars right here, as you can see, and it says chamomile blossoms on it. Just pop it open. It smells like chamomile. What do you think about that? So I'm going to go through each of these, just out of curiosity because I'm crazy about smells. This is a Darlegine. Nothing really completely different that I'm not used to. Here's Oolong. They kind of smell a lot like each other. I wonder how, they must be fresh. I don't know, this is the mystery box one. Let's see. Oh, that one's very floral. So I'm going to look and see what kind of tea I want. That should be good. Oh, I can show you my menu. I'll show that to you right now. It looks really nice. Yeah. See, so I have finger sandwiches and bun. So we've got a Clarence Court deviled eggs and mayonnaise. We've got a library tea cured salmon with pickled cucumber, a BLT, a sun-dried tomato bread, mature cheddar's plowmans, and a coronation prawn. And then we have buttermilk scones, a raisin one, and it has dorset clotted cream, tip tree strawberry jam, and a yeast and cheddar, and a truffle cream cheese. Truffle. Truffle, truffle, truffle. So excited about that. And then we have some Big Ben inspired cakes. We have the Elizabeth Tower, and that is a hazelnut caramel chocolate, a clock face, which is strawberry and basil cheesecake, and a Big Ben, a rhubarb and rose panna cotta. So this is great. I have the most amazing view right there of Big Ben and the Houses of Parliament. I think I have one of the best views in this whole place. I am so excited about this. Here's a special one, it's chocolate spice. Wow. And that one might have to be going with my sweets today. This one is delicious. I like this. So I think I'm gonna go for Earl Grey. Ooh, Bora Bora. Mm. Oh, wow. This one's fruity, oh no. So I've got Bora Bora, Bora Bora, which is fruity, and I've got the chocolate spice. I was just gonna go for Old Grey, but meh. My gosh, those other two, I am 
flabbergasted. They are gorgeous. So yes, definitely, I think I'm going to ask for Bora Bora for now. Ooh, that one's nice, a Ceylon tea. And then with my sweets, I'm gonna definitely go for the chocolate spice. Ooh, vanilla, mm. Nah, yeah, definitely. Holy cow, Bora Bora. It smells of oh, fruit. There's like peaches and raspberries and oh, it's beautiful. Can you see in there? Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. Beautiful. Mmm, that's the one. And then I'll show you the chocolate spice one too. Here's chocolate spice. Yeah. Oh, heady scent of chocolate gorgeous. It's so fun to come to these teas because you can try different teas that you just don't have in your tea cabinet. So yes, so far so good. This is from the Tea Makers of London. So yes, cheers to a happy successful afternoon tea. So I will say that the gentleman that's taking care of me today, uh, my waiter, he is on the ball with a sparkling rabbit juice. He just refilled me. Mm. So nice. So the atmosphere here, it's rather quiet, but there is an overhead sound system that's playing nice contemporary music. And yeah, there's, it's certainly not full, but there's about 10 tables that are full right now, and it is just about 3 o'clock, so perfect afternoon tea time. Really looking forward to this. So yes, um, looking forward to that, uh, what is it, truffle cream cheese spread. Oh yeah. So I, this is going to be good. I have been to this uh, afternoon tea several years ago, and it's so nice to come back. Absolutely so nice to come back. I, I love my city, I really do, and I'm so thankful that I can bring these vlogs to you. All the afternoon tea ones, so much fun. This is my view. Ah, how wonderful is this? And it's a beautiful, sunny, sunny, a lovely, warm day in London. And we are in May right now, so everybody is just so thrilled to finally have some warm weather. Everybody's in a good mood and it's just fabulous. So happy to be here today. I just received my pot of tea, my Bora Bora. So I'm gonna pour this and it's pink and it smells delightful. Okay, let's see. It's probably gonna burn my lips off, but we'll try. Oh, beautiful. naturally sweet. It's delightful. So I don't know if you remember my Mr. Sims afternoon tea that I did a little while ago at the Chesterfield Mayfair, I believe. They had a fruit blend that was just for their company. This one is very close to it. So I just adore a fruit blend tea. Lovely. Oh, I'll show you. Let me, let me show you really quick. Look at, it's pink. There we are. Oh, we're steamed up. <laughs> so we'll start off with the sandwiches. We have carnation prawn in a brioche bun. And we have a sea cured salmon with pickled cucumber on a beetroot bread. Flour cheddar with pickled onion on a spinach bread. Deviled eggs mayonnaise on a whole grain bread. And then finally a BLT on a sun dried tomato bread. Down the bottom of the stand, you have golden raisin sugar scones and then yeast and cheddar scones combined with your strawberry jam, buttercream and truffle and cream cheese. At the top of the stand we have a salted caramel hazelnut double chocolate mousse as the Elizabeth Tower. And we have a white chocolate, strawberry and basil cheesecake. And then finally a rose and rhubarb panna cotta. So the BLT, the bread is relatively soft. The bacon is gorgeously salted. So that is the real punch. And it's a really thick piece of bacon. Very nice. Now the lettuce, it has a lot to be desired. The poor guy, he's been in there for a bit, but it's still fine. Bacon, lettuce, and tomato. I'm eating tomatoes these days. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I like them. So yeah, all in all, a very nice sandwich, the BLT on sun-dried tomato bread.
My next sandwich is a Clarence Court, which is a brand of eggs over here in England. Good eggs, by the way. A Clarence Court deviled egg mayonnaise sandwich. So here he is. Yeah, you can see that. You know what egg salad looks like, right? Looks good, smells good, bread looks great. And it is on a whole grain bread. It's perfect. Perfect. Can't do any harm with that one. Very nice. If this makes any sense, it tastes very clear. It's, you know that this is egg and mayonnaise. It's seasoned well, it's not bland at all. And the color of the yolk is just delightful. If you can see, it's, it's much more a dark yellow than other egg mayonnaise that you probably have seen before. Lovely, beautiful, beautiful little sandwich. I might have to finish this one. So I did ask my waiter, if possible, if I really liked a sandwich, could I have another one? He said yes. So I'm so excited. That, that gives me a different kind of, you know, um, happiness in my afternoon tea. Not like I always want another sandwich of my favorite, but it's not off the table. I can have one if I want. So if you come here, you can have a whole selection of sandwiches once again, if you like them, if you can handle it. But yeah, very happy about that. So far, a very good experience. I'm gonna switch things up a little bit. I have a coronation prawns on a butter brioche. Little bun, this, this guy, I'm holding him up and he's collapsing. That's how wonderful this little guy is gonna be, I know. Oh. Yeah, you can see him, he looks good. Positively, deli uh, positively delightful. So if you don't know what coronation sauce is, it's kind of an Indian spiced, mayonnaise type based treat. Usually I've seen coronation chicken, lots of stuff over here in sandwich shops. Coronation chicken, very popular, but I've never seen coronation prawns, so I'm kind of looking forward to this. So I'll let you know how it goes. I wanted to capture my reaction before I finished eating. Glorious. So this one, is my contender for the best that there is here. Like I said before, the brioche bun, a butter brioche bun, it collapsed in my mouth and it disintegrated. The coronation sauce for the prawns was so delicately done, but you could tell that there are Indian inspired spices. The little prawns were just sweet and succulent. It wasn't fishy, it was just glorious. This is a beautiful little tea sandwich. I am so excited about this. And they refilled my sparkling rabbit juice. This has been such a great experience so far and I'm not even halfway through. So the coronation prom, it was lovely. There's even bits of raisin in there. So prawns and raisin, you'd think it would never work but it's glorious. It is so delicious. Definitely gonna have to have one of those. And I really enjoyed the uh, just the egg mayonnaise. It was so nice. We're gonna go on to a good old standard English sandwich. It is a mature cheddar's plowman with pickled onions on spinach bread. There we go. There we are. Oh, he looks good. A nice hunk of cheese. Never goes amiss with me. Oh. And the pickle, do you know what pickle is? It's kind of a brown tart sauce that it has pickled vegetables in it. Like onions and cauliflower, just weird stuff, but it's, it's tart. So the cheese with the pickle, oh, I see raisins and everything in it. It's really nice. I cannot wait to try this. So I'll let you know how it goes. So the waiting staff here have been incredibly on it. They 
know what I want before I even have to find anybody to ask for it. That is an amazing staff and the county hall is very blessed to have these people working for them and I'm very happy that they're here to take care of me. I love an afternoon tea because generally you're really taken care of. I used to work a lot of uh, retail roles and different kinds of front-facing guest roles and on my days off I'd always come to places like afternoon tea just to relax and have somebody else to take care of me. So it's so nice that I can still enjoy being taken care of. I mean, who doesn't want to be taken care of, right? It's, it's a wonderful blessing to be able to do this. So, yay. I'm a happy, a happy bunny. Happy bunny, yes indeed. So I've saved my smoked salmon for last. It is an H. Foreman smoked salmon, which is a brand here in England. And it looks lovely. The bread is nice and happy. There's a lot of smoked salmon in here. It's on beetroot bread, so looks very good. I'll let you know how it goes. This salmon, gorgeous. There's pickled cucumber in my smoked salmon. So like I said in a previous vlog, I love trying so many different afternoon teas for you guys because so many places have different interpretations of a classic sandwich. Smoked salmon with, with pickled cucumber. It's gorgeous. It makes it completely elevated because uh, the pickle is a little tart and the salmon is just smoky and light and beautiful. Oh yeah, it's gorgeous. I had a lovely waiter. He asked me if I wanted anything else and I said, oh yes please. And he gave me two of my favorites that I have had. So it's that coronation prawn little brioche guy. I've got two of these. And I got two of the Burford Brown uh, smoked, or Burford Brown egg mayonnaise. I'm getting completely spoiled here. My goodness, the smoked salmon with the pickled cucumber. And the attention to detail I'm just looking over. There is a table change right now. And the gentleman is actually ironing the tablecloth right there. Lovely. They really are putting their attention to detail and it's nice to see. So the afternoon tea here is starting to slow down. A lot of people have begun to leave. I guess they started a little bit earlier than I have, but that's okay. It's uh, lots of changeover and I'm able to talk to the people at work here, which is always a fun thing to do. But they had, I was just told that they've just changed over the recipe for their smoked salmon with the pickled cucumber. I love this one. It's so good. It elevates the whole experience of salmon with that pickled cucumber. It lightens it up. It, oh, it's just beautiful. Very nice. I believe the winner should always be the complete unexpected. Buttery brioche bun and coronation prawn. It is the winner today. Here are my scones. I believe, like I said before, this is probably gonna be my savory one. That's my sweet one. Here are all my lovely accompaniments. So we've got clotted cream, strawberry jam, and hello, truffle cream cheese. I'm gonna go a little bit more on that. Yeah, I think that's what I'm so excited for now. I've got my half of savory scone, and I'm going to take a lovely dollop, lovely, lovely dollop of cream cheese with truffle. Yeah, that's probably obscene, isn't it? So I'm gonna put it on here. The cheddar cheese scone, lovely and light. It's cooled down since I've been yapping so much. But that truffle cream cheese, right on. I like the bottom part of it better. I think the top, whatever is up here, was a little too sweet, but I cut it in half, like I said and tried the bottom part. 
with the truffled cream cheese and it really sent it into orbit. Creamy, truffly, glorious. I need to do that at home, truffle cream cheese. Mm. Well, that could be very naughty though. Would you do that? Do you like truffle? I love truffle. Love it, love it, love it. I'm at the point of my tea. It's 3.53 and there's only one other table beside myself. So there you go. If you want a quiet cream tea experience in London, Thursday at four o'clock almost, that's the time to do it. I still can't believe the view I see. It's a big bin. I've got the Thames River right in front of me the Westminster Bridge and Parliament. The sun is out. It is the most glorious place in the world right now. And thank you for joining me. I'm so happy about this. So I'm on to my sweets now. I have the Elizabeth Tower. It's lovely. I like rhubarb, but it's like, meh. It's, it's a panna cotta, so it's you know, it's the King Charles coronation, the 6th of 2023. So that's kind of special. I'm going to show you that up close. This is supposed to be a cheesecake. You see that? Yeah. Such bad manners completely, but it's okay. We're all friends here. Decided you can't take me anywhere because I spill things constantly. I'm going to show you the cheesecake, which was under King Charles. Let's see if I can do that. Here he is. Okay. It was nice. It was not like, waha, but it was nice. It was fine. Totally fine. Beautiful little thing left. It is the, the Big Ben. So hazelnut, caramel, chocolate. Okay, so the sun is really coming in on me now. I'm going to cut into my Elizabeth Tower. It is hazelnut caramel chocolate. Let's try that. Oh my God, did you hear that? That's my timer, the last bit of rabbit juice. Here is my chocolate bit. All right, that's the best one. That is the one. That is the one that hit it for the lovely sweet category. Yep, the Elizabeth Tower. And it's probably the Elizabeth Tower because that's where Big Ben the Bell lives inside of that. So all in all, an amazing afternoon tea here at the library at County Hall. Make sure you come here and get your reservations there and I will leave you with links down below and I've had probably one of the best afternoon teas that I've had in a long time the food was fabulous I love the savory collection and everybody was so attentive up to up to the last bit I got more sparkling rabbit juice so it's fabulous the views are incredible. The price is, is quite fine, I think. I will leave the price down below as well. So thank you again for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for going down the rabbit hole with me today. And I look forward to seeing you again in Wonderland. Bye-bye. <laughs>